Okay, so, so far in English 109, you've written a personal narrative about yourself. You've also chosen a cultural text to analyze, and you've developed that kind of analytical writing. In this unit, you're going to stretch yourself even further. Uh, in this unit, you're going to write a researched, argumentative essay. Hopefully also, you're getting now into really into the pattern of the class. So you see that we begin uh, by learning about what the assignment is, by reading the course textbook chapter, by watching this video, by reading your assignment prompt. Then we develop some writing activities that help you to brainstorm towards that major assignment. You get the opportunity to draft and share your work with your peers, get some feedback, revise, revise again, polish and submit. Researched argumentative writing, like the kind of writing you're going to do in this unit, it's one of the key skills to succeeding in the university. If you can do research, cite properly, and write persuasively, there's almost nothing you can't do as a writer at the university level. And you'll be really prepared to be a really strong writer in any career you choose. But you'll also become a better communicator because you're learning how to uh, present your beliefs and opinions to an audience in a persuasive way. The key to a successful argument essay really is that you choose a topic that you personally care about. This should be a topic that there can be multiple viewpoints or opinions on. So sometimes it's best to choose a topic that you haven't even fully made your mind up about, uh, but you know that you want to investigate further. Don't choose to argue for something easy, like free pizza for university students. But also know that there are some topics that are so emotionally charged and complicated that people's reactions to them uh, can be pretty black and white. Uh, or that the, those reactions to those topics can also be emotionally charged. Topics like abortion or assisted suicide, while those are important issues in our society today, can be really difficult to write a successful argument essay about those topics. So start with something that you care about and talk to your teachers and your peers about that topic to try and find something that's complicated enough that you stay interested, uh, that you want to research and learn more about that topic. So the first requirement here is that you choose a topic that you care about. Then you want to narrow that topic down because remember, just like the previous two assignments, you only have four to five pages here. Uh, you have to choose a, to narrow down your thesis so that you have a topic that you can write about uh, in, in some depth and with some complexity, but in just four or five pages. So let's take a concrete example. Say you want to write about internet privacy issues in Canada. You could write four or five books about that topic. Your job is to work with your teachers and with your peers to narrow that topic down to find one angle that you can say something original about and that you can find some research to help support your opinion. So let's look a little bit more about that internet privacy topic. You could begin by looking at Canadian Bill C-30, which was introduced in the winter of 2012. That's one way to begin to narrow the topic down. Then you want to get even smaller. What about looking just at the proposed title of the bill? The proposed title, I believe, was the Protecting Children from Internet Predators Act. What is it about that title that might allow you to make an argument about that bill and what's contained within it? When you look at this title and then you look at the act and you look at the research uh, about the, the two things together, uh, maybe you could argue that that title is misleading and doesn't connect directly to a lot of the content that's in the act. That's a much smaller kind of thing to investigate that you could really do a good job with in four or five pages. It's not tackling the whole issue, it's choosing one unique angle and forming an opinion that you, that you care about as part of that topic. Your thesis statement could be that this title, proposed title for the bill was inaccurate and misleading. Or if you are for the bill, you could also argue that the title is appropriate and that the benefits of the bill outweigh the possible negatives. In either case, uh, you'll be able to find research that supports your opinion, you'll be able to find uh, counter-arguments, but you'll be able to put an essay together within four or five pages that investigates this topic uh, in a complex way. There would be a lot of places you could go for research on this topic. You could look to newspaper opinion articles, but also, if you did a scholarly search, you could find a lot of qualitative and quantitative data about this topic. For instance, a scholarly search might lead you to a 2011 article by Stephen Roberts that examines the different ways that 
newspapers in Canada have shaped public perceptions around fears of the internet. Using this research and other associated research, you could develop a, a thesis about how the proposed bill either feeds into or perhaps simply responds to public perceptions about the safety of cyberspace. It's okay to have a thesis before you start researching, just as it's okay to change your thesis as you do your research. The key is that you develop your own unique angle, a smaller angle that allows you to investigate one part of your topic within four to five pages. This should feel liberating. You don't have to cover every single detail of your topic. You just have to choose one thing to focus on. The other advice I have for you in this unit is about research. You can always do more research. Don't just use the first few articles that you find. The more selective you are with your research, the more time you put into it, the better your essay is going to be. The truth is, a really well-researched essay almost writes itself. But an argument with no real research or really random bit of, bits of research usually turns out badly. A good research essay doesn't just take three articles and cite them in three separate paragraphs. It takes opinions and viewpoints, makes them speak to one another, combines them with one another for synthesis. Research means searching and then searching again. So don't stop researching. Even after you've written a draft, you can always do more research to make your argument stronger or to make it more complex. And in that spirit, when you read your peers' work, you can help them find better and further research resources as well. As with all of our units, make sure that you save all of your drafts and your rough work. When you're researching, also make sure that you bookmark or print out copies of all of the research that you do. If you have a citation, you need to also know exactly where that came from, because a key part of this unit is also going to be showing you how to use academic styles to cite research properly. You'll get lots more advice throughout this unit about the research process and about how to turn that research into an argumentative essay. I hope that you enjoy this assignment. I know that it can be hard to feel like you have a really strong opinion or a unique angle on an issue. But the other side of that is that it's fairly rare at the university to get an opportunity to really develop an argument about a topic that you personally care about. So I hope that you enjoy this process and that you learn from it as well.